Wednesday morning, and Busia County Governor Sospita Ojemong would make his way to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission headquarters for interrogation of a corruption allegations. A grilling session that would take hours before the Busia County boss and three county executives were driven to Milimani Law Courts in handcuffs to answer to charges of corruption. Appearing before Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti, Ojemong and his co-accused Bernard Yaite, Alan Angwen and Samuel Obui were accused of defrauding Busia County 8 million shillings through engaging a company, Madame R Enterprise, to conduct a feasibility study on waste management, yet it had not been budgeted for. Is there any material evidence that they were ever summoned? Has the prosecution indicated when they were summoned? Your Honor, that's a new matter. I don't remember any of us addressing you on that issue. Your Honor, I'm responding to the affidavit. He can only respond, Your Honor, with respect to matters of law and issues that we raised in our report. He cannot go to new matters. There is no evidence of any summons issued to any of these persons or even when they were issued. Charges they would deny with the governor's lead counsel, James Orengo, questioning how the ESCC and prosecutions handled the corruption case. As a consequence of that appearance that uh, the charge and caution <coughs> was undertaken in our presence before the officers of the Anti-Corruption Commission, together with uh, police officers who operate from the, that center. There's a police station at that center. Orango Father poked tolls into the charge sheet that was presented before the court. It is said that they have been arrested on the third, which is not true, Your Honor. They voluntarily appeared before the commission today on the fourth. And the only time they were in custody was the drive between the commission and the courts. It is not an easy representation that we are making to this court, but a factual <coughs> position that we add some of the accused persons in custody. Ojemong and his co-accused have denied seven counts of accusations, which include abuse of office, failure to comply with law relating to management of public funds, and conspiracy to commit economic crime, among others. Application by the government to be granted bail was opposed by the prosecution, which arguing that it will jeopardize ongoing investigations. For the witness in Busia town yes. yesterday, a demonstration in support of his own boss, that is the county governor, mm -hmm. would be so intimidating to that witness. Not a single accusation is made that for the duration they've been in office, they have threatened a particular officer actual or perceived as a witness. Busia Governor Sospita Ojemong and his co-accused will spend the two nights at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission police station until Friday 2 p.m. when the court is expected to make a ruling when it comes to their bail application. Brenda Zeda Radido, Channel 1 News, Nairobi.